It's a nice spring day in the green pastures. The sun is shining, the clouds are fluffy, and the cows are happy. Moo Moo the cow is enjoying an afternoon snack. A few miles away, a next rad radar tower stands tall watching over the skies. <coughs> Along comes the evil thunderstorm, Mr. Gray. Inside the radar is a radar dish that sends a signal towards him. The signal bounces back giving weather forecasters a good look inside Mr. Gray. The forecast Based on the information provided by the radar, Mr. Stormy, the weatherman, announces a warning over the television. Moo Moo's owners see the warning and call the cows inside the barn to safety with plenty of time. Radar is an important and unique tool for weather forecasters. It helps them look inside storms and directly measure the motion of the air particles, as well as the size of raindrops and snowflakes. Data from radars provide not only the strength and type of storm, but also the location. This information is used by forecasters to provide warnings for severe thunderstorms, flash floods, and tornadoes. Large, powerful radars known as NEXRAD, short for Next Generation Weather Radar, are located all over the United States, Alaska, and Hawaii, as well as several places around the world. The formal name of the radar is the WSR-88D, which stands for Weather, Surveillance, Radar, 1988, for the year the engineering design was established, Doppler. This S-band radar is considered the best in the world because it is accurate and highly reliable. The Doppler capability in the radar provides more information to forecasters about the winds in the storm than was previously available. A total of 167 radars are used by forecasters working for the National Weather Service, which is part of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, as well as the Federal Aviation Administration and the military. The radars have been placed strategically to cover the entire United States. Together, they form a network, which allows data from different radars to be combined into one picture. The people who keep these radars working are located right here in Norman, Oklahoma, at the Radar Operations Center, which is a tri-agency organization supported by the Departments of Commerce, Defense, and Transportation. We are here to keep the radars running smoothly and fix them when they break. The radar is a complicated piece of equipment and requires experts to keep it working. Next Rad Hotline, this is Monty, can I help you? People using the radar can call the Radar Operations Center help desk at any time, 24 hours a day, and receive guidance from our meteorologists and technicians to help fix their radar. This hotline has operated non-stop for more than 10 years and averages 1,000 calls per month. We're very good at solving problems quickly and helping fix broken radars. As the radars age, the staff of the Radar Operations Center continually improves the production of the radars by replacing parts that become outdated. The ROC also improves the capability of the radar by adding new technology. The Radar Operations Center has four branches operations, applications, engineering, and program. Each has a specific role in maintaining the radar network. Our staff members have a variety of skills, ranging from radar meteorologists to engineers, radar technicians, software engineers, technical writers, and everyone in between. Our staff members are very creative and react to challenges of all kinds. We have gone out and repaired radars in remote locations in all kinds of weather, and even acquired new radars and moved radars.
The ROC was specifically placed in Norman to be co-located with the radar meteorology experts at the National Severe Storms Laboratory, which is also part of NOAA, and the University of Oklahoma. The work we do here at the Radar Operations Center is important to the nation. It directly impacts the ability of the radars to provide information to forecasters who put out the warnings and save lives. However, the best warnings do not work if they are ignored. Unfortunately, when Mr. Gray sent down a tornado, Mumu's friend at a neighboring farm, Chip, didn't seek shelter. So what should you do when a warning is issued and the radar image on the television shows the tornado is headed towards your house? Here are a few tornado safety tips. Take shelter below ground in a basement or storm shelter. If that is not available, take shelter in the lowest part of a well-built structure. Put as many walls between you and the tornado as possible. Cover your head. Be safe like Moo Moo the cow and pay attention to the forecasts and warnings. Thanks for visiting the Radar Operations Center.